Okay, good people. Uh, I'm getting my cell phone out here to make these videos that I've been procrastinating on. So I'm 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 getting at it right now. Now what I'm what I'm gonna do on this video is I'm gonna talk about uh this is the type of conversation that I'm gonna have dealing with moving over into talking about the dreams and visions. Now this is not this is not a dream or a vision that I'm talking about right now, but it's gonna help me move over into that mode without you know the, a, a nice little transition to get me comfortable in it because. You know, I got a lot of things to bring up as far as dreams and visions, but I, you know, I got to pick, I got to, you know, go over what I think is uh, the good ones to come out with because I go way back in remembering my dreams and visions. Uh, but what I'm about to say right now is along the same level as my dreams and visions can be. So that's why I'm picking something that happened in real life, but it kind of lines up with the stuff, the same kind of uh, different, you know, different levels that can come across in, in your dreams. So anyway, let me get started with it. Um, this was, this has been a few years ago that this has taken place, but not that long ago, maybe about three to five years ago not no 10, 15, and 20, because I can go back way into childhood. And that's why I can say it that way. So anyway, this was um, a day, I can say, we was just out. This was back a while when uh, I was with somebody that I, I had been with for 10 years. And I'll get into that story another time, but he's no longer alive. Um and it was me and him outside. I don't know if we were going anywhere at the time because I can't pinpoint it. But anyway, it was a nice, pretty sunny day. Not, not really any clouds in the sky. One of those clear days. And it had to be warm because I don't remember it being any, you know, cool, cold or chilly or whatnot. So anyway, we were in the driveway and this was where I was at before, where you can, um, I've got videos where you can see where the, how the driveway was kind of laid out. But anyway, so the thing was, the next door neighbors were, their yard is con was connected to ours. Like, um, it, it was like trees and bushes where you could tell where the, where the line was in the, um, from, from both yards, but they kind of blended together. So the neighbor's yard had, had a, well, both of them were big yards. Both of them were large yards, medium sized uh, yards. Um, maybe not an acre of land, but almost, you know, a pretty decent amount close to an acre. So anyway, the trees that, now this was when, when I was looking, um, up in the sky because I always look in the sky night day whatever um so the trees that were in the neighbor's yards I started looking over towards the yard and I could see a whole lot of crows up in the sky and I, I, I'm used to seeing crows you know lingering around in trees um on the ground or whatnot but this time I looked up in the sky and it was, and the trees are tall. Most of the trees that were around there in both yards were, they were pretty tall. Um, so way above the houses, way above the houses. So um, I'm looking up in the sky and I see all of these uh, crows. And then I start realizing that they were, they were swarming in a circle. They were swarming in a circle, and I was like, now, um, my boyfriend at the time that I was telling you what had happened, uh, you know, that he done passed away, I was like, I called him Junior. I was like, Junior, I said, look at them crows over there. Do you see how they doing? And I was looking at them, and like I said, they was going in a circle, so he looking at them too. And you know how some people are, they, they might not get, overexcited about something or uh, act like it's really a big deal. But 
I still know how he operated. So he was intrigued too. And all of a sudden, like I said, they were swarming in the circle at, at the same time that they were moving forward. And, and it was moving, you know, like a, at a pretty good pace. And I was like, you know what? I ain't never seen them do that. Now, I done seen plenty of crows up in the sky and I done seen them in the trees. And, and another thing about the crows that I done experienced with um, being around them, um, you know, they do all that hollering, you know, that good, 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 and all that, you know, making all that noise. But they wasn't doing that. But like I said, they were they were constantly moving. And, it, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something else that made a big difference. It wasn't just five or ten of them. It was about um, it was at least thirty to fifty of them. And like I said, you I mean it just wasn't something that you wasn't got, wasn't gonna notice. And I had never seen this before. So anyway, the thing about it is, I've learned to, tr to sometimes I can do it. I react. Quick enough, I told him, let's go, let's go. Let's get in the car and let's follow him. And so we got in the car and you can't just go straight across. You have to go down roads and figure out which way to go. So we ended up being um, the street that was over there by where we were, where we were at that time. Um, it has a main highway that runs through that area. So I had to cross over on the other side and then I was keeping up with him. But then I, I, I drove around a few streets and I had, and he was like, yeah, go this way, go this way. Or I might've been like, I don't know which way to go. Uh, maybe I should turn down this street and go this way. Cause I wasn't as familiar with the streets across on the other side in the neighborhoods. Cause it, it crossed over into a whole nother, uh, uh, you know, the same type of neighborhood. But they, you know, like I said, after a while, they, I, it seemed like they, they started getting further and further and I just couldn't keep up with them because that's how, that's how fast they were moving. And this probably happened in the time period, I'll say a good 20 to 30 minutes that all this transpired. Um, so like I said, they disappeared and I was kind of upset that I couldn't keep up with them. I mean, I don't know what I really thought. Like, was I going to see them land somewhere or whatnot? Um, but I brought this, and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking and posting this now is because I brought this up to somebody that's close to me. And because some of the stuff that happens, I don't necessarily just talk about it. Sometimes I might talk about it to a couple of people that I'm close to. And then I'll go on about my business. And sometimes I, you know, after time elapses, I forget about it. Well, I, you know, like I said, this has been a, a good, he's been gone for at least two and a half years now. And later on, you know, it'll go, it'll cross over into three years. So, um, and I can't remember if my grandmama was still living because she didn't pass away to 2019. That's how, that's how I do my timelines. But I think if I'm not mistaken, she might have been still alive, but then she might have had already done pass by then. So this might have been like 2020 or 2021. I can't even remember if if uh if everything had happened with the with the with the 19 uh situation. Um so I was talking about it to somebody that I'm close to, and they was like, What? And uh they was like, see, they've been in tune with other people keeping them, um, talking to them about different spiritual things and um, of that nature. So they was like, oh, that was, that was a bad spirit. You know what they told me? They said that that means it was witchcraft somewhere nearby. That wasn't a good spirit. And, and the person that told me, they said that, that uh, the people that they were kind of being like, I guess, mentored, I'm going to put it in that category, of being mentored um, with. And um, they were like, yeah, they they talked about one of the persons that they would, was being strongly mentored through. They said they always talked about them crows. And I ain't going to lie, I done seen crows for a long time. Um, 
and 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 like I said, they sometimes they do that hollering, you know, that bird calling, hollering, what whatever you want to call it, and they'll be so loud. And sometimes you get up in the morning, and um, they'll just be going crazy with it. But like I said, the circle that they was in, it was it was at least thirty to 50 birds and I ain't never ever seen that many crows gathered at one time and then like I said they were turning in a circle and going forward at the same time but like I said the person that told me they was like yeah that was uh uh the, they told me all the anytime you have crows around um because I always heard that crows are, are very smart but then they also mentioned that they uh that that's more like a monitoring spirit too, and uh I was like yeah that sounded about right because I just caught that just looked up in the sky and caught it and I was like what I ain't never seen that many birds before at one time and of course you could see they you know see clearly that they were crows so yeah but yeah I tried to follow them but after so long where I was located um. You know, I had, I had, we had went pretty, pretty good over in the other, across the, on the other side of the neighborhood. It's not like, now trust me, I, I, you know, I can keep up with some stuff when it comes to driving. But just like I said, when you got to turn down a road and it, even if you get a few times where you go straight forward, you can go down a nice straightforward street, but you get to the end of that street, you're going to have to decide to go right or go left and then how you going to do just to keep going forward cuz they was going they was pretty much going straight and but then they was kind of going at an angle too you know what i'm saying like it might have been a slightly straight angle but just a little a little more over to um probably over to the left so you know i had to pick and choose which i kept up with them pretty good but like i said after a while they started getting further and further away you just you know how it's like a balloon going up in the sky even though they were going forward instead of up so they started disappearing you could you could vaguely see them where they were still there but i just had to say well ain't no point ain't no way you're gonna be able to keep up with them but like i said in the end i don't know why you know i, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say why because i know why because i was like Oh, I got to see where they going. But in the end, I don't know if I'd ever see where they, where would they have landed. But, you know, just being, and, and this was recent when I talked to somebody about it, the person that's close to me. And I'm talking about within the month of, if it was even, it was probably in this month of June, but if it wasn't in June, it was sometime in the month of May. Yeah. So, yeah, but they was like, yeah, that, that was a sign of witchcraft. And I was like, wow, I didn't, I would have, you know, I ain't going to say I would have never thought of it being, not being that, but it made sense to a certain degree. But like I said, I ain't never seen them gather like that. So um, I just wanted to throw that story out there and it ain't never happened again. And it ain't never happened before then. Like I said, I've seen plenty of crows on uh, telephone pole lines. Now I got a couple of other stories uh, well, at least one that I saw some signs. And matter of fact, I think he, I think Junior was still living when that happened too. But yeah, them crows, they they be around. And no matter where I move to, I still end up seeing crows around in the trees. And uh, like I said, they, I can wake up and hear them sometimes. I, I'll probably pay attention here lately, but I don't think I really heard them, uh, you know, hollering doing that call that they be doing where it just seemed like they be so busy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they, they, they communicate, you know, birds and animals communicate with each other anyway. And it's like the way they be going so hard and being so loud and it be more than one of them going at one time. It's like, what y'all talking about? What, what's going on? What kind of, uh, what kind of activity are you seeing that you, it's like they notifying you that, Always oh, something bad going on. So anyway, I'm going to end it on that. But those are the type of stories that I'm probably going to uh, talk about just to, like I said, to move over into actually talking about visions and dreams and getting more comfortable with it. Because some stuff can sound like, you know, it, it might not sound 
normal to somebody else, some of the stuff that you dream about and have in visions. But anyway, on that note, I'll end it at that, and I'll probably be coming across with some more today, different different things, but I'm going to be talking about other things too. All right.